Yeah. Got this, of course. The number one news to talk about. Number one news to talk about. The most inspiring news to talk about. And stuff that's been breaking the internet, breaking the fire on the kids' subreddit, sending people in a tizzy, sending them in an absolute frenzy. The news that Brendan Shaw has been confirmed as a performer at Skankfest Vegas coming up in September. Skankfest Vegas is going to be having Brendan Shaw there. What a shocker. What a shocker. He even added him. He says here, joining the infamous at Legion of Skanks in Sin City, September 29th to the 1st of August. Get your tickets now. So it's official. Luis J. Gomez, after loads of posturing, after loads of begging, loads of desperation, loads of twerking, has finally got Brendan Schaub to appear on Legion of Skanks at the Skankfest and also maybe perform. The performing part of it, I'm a little bit skeptical about. Will he, will he actually do his stand-up routine? Will he perform that terrible Greg Abbott bit at flipping Skankfest and stuff and open himself up to getting booed and having people heckle him? I'm not really too sure. Will he go on Legion of Skanks and basically do what he does regularly on shows and shut down and be sad and act moody and not want to answer questions and da-da-da-da? Probably yes that's going to happen or be evasive and vague in certain things i think so so i think the likelihood of him being on skankfest and actually answering questions and maybe get hooked up to lie detector will happen will he actually go on stage and perform i'm not too sure there are some people on the subreddit who are saying that he may end up canceling before the show goes on because you get you know um cold feet part of me thinks this is probably something that brendan needs more than Skankfest need he actually needs a bit of good PR and putting my dislike for him as a person aside because I was a fan previously I can definitely think that he probably needs this more than they do and if he actually went there with a good attitude and decided to actually be willing to be open to be the butt of the jokes to not have such thin skin and actually laugh at himself he could actually come out of this quite well because the reality of it is most people don't actually care about Brendan for good or for worse. So most people don't know about all the fuck shit he's maybe have done in the past or why some people don't like him. So if they just get little tidbits here and there and little compilations here and there and little clips from TFAK or whatever it may be or Uniques, that's all they see. If they're able to see then the next day him going to an enemy platform and smashing and having a good appearance and you know charming the host and charming the viewers and stuff it will go a long way to really kind of revive or recover or re rehabilitate rebuild his re reputation online it really would because most people don't know the extent of you know how much of an unlikable person he can be they just see the surface level so i think he actually could do well now it would require a real change in personality he'd have to really be open to opening himself up to ridicule not being thin-skinned take not taking stuff too personally being, being able to laugh at himself and kind of join in on the meme can he do that especially with somebody like a Luis j gomez who has been taking digs at him for a while for a long time but now Luis j gomez is desperate on his side of things he's not in favor with joe rogan and it feels like this is one of his last hell mary attempts to try and get back into joe rogan's good graces the funny thing for me the brutal and hilarious part for me would be imagine if Luis j gomez decided to do all of this get on his knees suck brendan off platform him even though he said he didn't like him and thought he was unfunny and poked fun at him and really went kind of hard on the guy because he tries to rewrite history but he went kind of hard on him so now he's trying to be his best friend it'd be funny if all this effort he went to to try and be brendan's best friend still didn't get him back into joe rogan's good graces and the very next show back after Skankfest, joe rogan decides to interview or to invite back on his show dave smith and big jay Oakerson and leave Luis j gomez out of it that would be hilarious if he did that. You, you, that would be super, super hilarious. But you never know. But I think this is a good idea overall. I think for Brendan, I think for Luis J. Gomez, it's clearly, you know, desperate move from a guy who wants to be friends with Joe Rogan again and, you know, is wondering why Joe doesn't like him personally and likes his best friends who work with him and Dave Smith and Big J. Ogerson more, but they don't like him. So he's doing whatever he can to make sure he recovers that. 
because you know the comedy mothership is popping up and doing what it's doing he's even commenting and here saying dicey dicey and shit like he's really trying his darndest to be friends with the guy and uh let's see and let's actually see the comments actually what the comments say so he said dicey dicey what the reply say to lewis j gomez underneath this um, thank you so much for doing this for the comedy world. So people are definitely making fun. This other person says, hell yeah. Now we just need Nikki Glazer to come and sing We Love You, Bob Saget. Oh yeah, that would be amazing actually. That song that she put out was actually hilarious. One of the worst thing ever. This person said this should be fun. Ironically, I guess, another person. Great move. You'll gain so many fans attracted with them. Let them bust your balls a bit. You'll see a full 180. Great career choice. True, but you also need to be funny. That's a problem. It's one thing being able to be the butt of the jokes, but you also need to come with the funnies. And can he come with the funnies? I'm not too sure. He may roll up there with a couple of pre writtens Why not? Let's see what one. Good move, Cotton. I'm just here for the savages in the comments. Another one says, did they send you an invite on April the 1st by chance? Great banter. Never met him. Another person says, I'm a huge fan of Shanks and they can be mean as hell, but this move will gain a ton of respect. How can you be a fan of Legion of Skanks but also be a fan of Brendan Shaw? That's a weird combination, isn't it? Um, another person continues here with a funny picture of him. Another one says, Bappa's in the house. Uh, Bappa's in the house. Yeah, cool. Take notes. There'll be a lot of East Coast comedians, real comics there. Dude, congrats. I'm so glad that you're recognized as being an amazing com- <laughs> What? Team Shaw? All right, mate. Yo, this is too much. Big fan of this. And that one says, LOL, you're going to go perform at a festival hosted by a group of folks that constantly roast you. Hey, he's got to do what he's got to do. There, I know there are some people out there saying that it's desperation. No, I've, I've heard some people say, I remember I've read some people say, actually, if Brendan was like, well, like if he was how he was in 2019 and he was booked and busy playing at Joe Rogan's club, the podcast successful as always, getting kind of hundreds of thousands of views, would he do this? probably not i think if you're at the you know pinnacle of your career you probably don't go to Skankfest, probably because you're too busy you know smashing it and going on theater tours not because of show shit you know what i mean so maybe there is a point in that but i don't see anything wrong in that at least he's recognizing that he needs to do something um she was showing that the meme of those Ghanaian dudes holding up the hearst absolutely respected brennan he's making a leap into the abyss i think legion of skanks tfk mashup will be awesome that's just sure for finally realizing leading into it could help anxious to see how it turns out but it's a step you're anxious how another man is going to do another podcast yo redacted another one the most useless and unfunny comedian um in the biz shame on you Luis J. gomez this is pathetic oh, that's kind of funny another one says this is awesome man another one saying okay okay the office meme prepare to be booed off stage another person says oh if that happens if that happens would that be possible i don't know i've not watched legion of skanks and I've, i don't i don't really watch i've not seen skank fest live streams so i maybe have to pay for that one but what who, do they actually boo people off stage is that a thing they do i'd imagine he'd get more groans and people laughing in the audience but i don't think people are gonna boo will they boo you off stage at skank fest i'm not too sure you should have Lucia Gomez and team to roast Gringo Papi or something. That would be funny. I don't think so. Because if you listen to what BGL says, um, what you call it? Brendan actually thought Gringo Papi was going to be his ticket, you know, to the flipping big big league. So he probably still really rates that. So he's not going to be laughing at the way they want to be laughing at. I love this Shub now. You're a comedian, her. Would have known. Brave man. This is more impressive than stepping into the oxygen. Okay, you need to relax there, sir. The absolute best thing you can do for your career. Awesome move. It's basically everyone kind of acknowledging that he's at a real desperate point in his career. And he has to do something to change the narrative or the narrative, as he would say, of his persona online in a weird way. That's everyone kind of admitting they all know the facts that he kind of doesn't come across the work, the best online and he needs to kind of have an opportunity to re- resurrect it by doing this show that has been poking fun at him, especially with the host that Lucia Gomez has been, you know, knocking him for a long time here. They will rip on you, lean into it, have fun. Damn respect, dude. Looking forward to seeing you there. Having Kratom as a sponsor. Damn, that's messed up. I see no different alcohol sponsor. Yeah, so clearly people are happy for it. They like it. They want to see it. Let's see what happens. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes when it actually occurs. We'll see how it goes when it actually occurs. 
Um, and then, of course, the tickets for the Scamfest shit itself are available to purchase now. Courtesy of the site here, you got $200. God damn, it's expensive. Plus an $11.50 booking fee. Fuck me. For the Friday, hold on. For the Friday only. So you can't even, okay, all access are completely sold out. They were four ninety. Oh my God. I didn't know Scamfest was that expensive. It's four ninety for a weekend pass and then for the day i think it's one what two hundred dollars right shit these guys are pulling in monies monies people say it's a four day it's four days bro i can go see some of the best bands in the world at primavera one of the best music festivals in the world in one of the greatest cities in the world in barcelona you know surrounded by baddies drinking some nice drinks eating some nice food for 270 euros to see some of the best bands play best djs best whatever seeing a bunch of you know coked up drunk comedians in vegas you know say edgy jokes for 490 no thank you like seriously that's a fucking bump what 490 skankfest returns to las vegas for three days three days of comedy bruh three days for 490 comedy madness featuring the best and biggest comedy lineup on the planet from the 29th of, October, of september to the 1st of august the baddest comedians from around the world will take over the notoriety live on las vegas famous downtown fremont street expect big laughs live music podcasts and many more surprises live music what by that zach amico guy crack amico i'm sorry but i'd rather go see fucking playboy carty do you know what i mean no, no offense or whatnot the lineup includes Aaron Berg, Aaron O'Dom, Adam Carolla, Adriana Lapulucci, Ali May Brand, Alice Pierce, Annie Liederman, Ari Shafir, Audrey Ben Roy, Black Hammond, Bonnie McFarlane, Brendan Sagler, Brendan Shaw, Brendan blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm sorry, that's not worth 490. I know the lineup's decent. Eric Griffin, Fanto, Greg Stone, Hadi Kuba, Ian Fandance. Ian Fandance, Joe DeRosa, Jim Florentine, Joe List. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. 490 is fucking excessive for me personally. Maybe you guys disagree, but that is wild. Absolutely wild. Um, artists and comedians, you got here featured. Cracker Mika performing. Big up Cracker Mika, that song still bangs. You're a G. Um, what's, what's new arrivals? What's all this shit? Oh, this new edition. Okay, clothes wise, I guess i'm sorry man i'm not doing it personally that's too much i didn't know it was that expensive god damn it i'd rather go austin i'd rather go austin and use 490 as spending money you know to kind of go and get some ribs do some flipping white salsa was it line dancing whatever that shit's called drink some fucking beers you know hang out maybe get into a fight on sixth street buy a couple of tickets to some shows and hang out 490 to go see those guys in vegas of all places like nah nah no thank you but again good idea for brendan he probably needs it um more than anybody and obviously you know lewis kind of wants it also so mutually beneficial it works well for all of them so big up them in it big up big up big up them